Leo, uh, colour me shocked. Jordan Henderson's rainbow laces prove no match for Saudi money. Yeah, so Jordan Henderson, the footballer, is no longer an LGBTQ plus ally after his move to Saudi Arabia, says Hitzel's. Yeah. I think that's Thomas Hitzelsberger. Thomas Hitzelsberger. Yeah. That so. sounds like he's got his own syndrome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Part far right and part like uncontrollable salutes. Um, yeah, I don't know, he's, he's getting criticised. He, he does the salute and he doesn't know why everyone's upset. <laughs> that's not funny. But yeah, this guy. <laughs> I apologise to him. Yeah, this, this guy's getting criticised for, uh, you know, previously wore the rainbow laces mm. and all that sort, yeah. of, sort of stuff and now he's moving to Saudi Arabia. But surely if there's one place he can change hearts and minds. It's Saudi Arabia. Well, there is, a, there is a tiny degree of truth to that, isn't there? It's a bit like that fellow uh, Nick was saying a few days ago. Um, it was... I can't remember who it was. Was it Johnny Mercer or something? Somebody had been saying about Afghanistan that, you know, we shouldn't just, like, completely it, it cut them out of society. We, mm. You have to try and do business with these people and, and gradually change their minds. I yeah, think there's heroin. an element of that. I've, I, I honestly... I'm not even that big a football fan, but it does seem to have the ability to actually kind of bridge a lot of divides in society that... And, Let's be honest, most of the clubs in the UK now are owned by Saudi uh, oil <laughs> yeah. companies anyway, or worse, aren't they? Yeah, so, yeah. You know, is it really that much worse than playing for, for Newcastle? Well, I, I guess it's just it's just another example of, like, the hypocrisy of these... Yeah. Uh, it's all for show. So the, when they, they, they did a, his club that he signed for in Saudi Arabia, done a video montage, and he's wearing the uh, rainbow captain armband, so they just made his video black and white just for that little bit, so you can't see the... Wow. So you can't see the, uh, the armband. But 700k a week... Um, and uh, he just has Please. to run through walls uh, for the team. I mean, push, I mean, I mean, push walls over people for the team. Um, <laughs> it's seven hundred k a week. Yeah, that's, that's why it's nuts. Like, it's surprising that it's like, yeah, I'm I'm an LGBTQ plus ally, and I believe in them. Seven hundred k a week. I'm there. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what he was. So long, in Rainbow. I mean, he was the captain at Liverpool, right? He's yeah. been a fairly major player. He, that would have been worth quite a bit as well. They're not. They're not no, the Saudis there. are just. Well, they're, it's sport washing. They're just throwing yeah. so much money in it. So yeah. they, he was on like maybe like two hundred grand at, at Liverpool. Right. And now he's and now he's like in the twilight of his career. And they've offered him seven hundred thousand. Yeah. So Thomas, I'm Hitson, willing to learn how to play football. Yeah, yeah for, uh, for I'll take half that. Do you know what Messi's getting at uh, Miami? Well, he basically owns. Half of part of the league, and Apple have basically brought him over now as right. part of a TV deal, and he's got like a stake in that. So as the league grows with him, yeah. Um, but that was a big controversy because he was sponsored by Saudi Arabia, so they thought he was going to go over there. So then he went when he chose to go to Miami, um, obviously because yeah. he's got a large Latin community. Caused a big furor with all these uh, sponsors. Quite interesting. I was going to, it sounds like you do know about this, and I, just for one second. Is like soccer, as they will call it in America, yeah. is that being uh, elevated by the increased number of Central and South American people? Oh, yeah. Origin in America. Because it used to be like a very minority sport, but there's been a lot of. of uh, I think yeah. I think it's a combination of that, but I actually do think the Premier League is growing so, so, so big around the world, especially in yeah. America now. Right. The sport's growing there. And also the sports, like NFL's growing it over here because we've got the, yeah. the NFL here. So they're talking about a 39th game in America, so like a, the Premier League will play a match over there, maybe. Oh, right. Nice. Yeah, okay. So. And across the ocean.